guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl d dimples thank you for tuning in today and if you are new here hi i am dimples this is my channel subscribe to my channel become a part of the gang and if you're a returning subscriber what's good what it do ddt gang um as you can tell by the title what we're getting into today today is gonna be a chit chat get ready with me i am about to get ready and make some content for today you guys um so we're just gonna get right into the video y'all i'm gonna talk i'm just gonna talk to y'all as i get ready so lately i've been and i broke my nail y'all i'm so upset but anyways lately i've been um you guys been hitting me up everybody's been asking me um about how to become a youtuber now before i begin um i'm just gonna give y'all a little backstory on me for those that are new here for those that don't know or whatever like that um i started youtube august of 2020 and um i had i think 78 videos so if you go check right now, um, some of the videos are no longer there. I think I have like, um, damn, I don't know. I just, I had, I just had started off with 78 videos, 78 videos, you guys. And, um, with that being said, um, before I started doing YouTube, like I told y'all previously before, I was always enter, I mean, into entertainment, like singing, dancing, all of that stuff. I was doing that shit, but I was not, I didn't have no platform. I didn't know, no, I knew about YouTube because I watched YouTube all my life, but me actually doing YouTube, that right there never came to mind. Like, I used to always watch, um, what's her name? Um, what's her name? Uh, Pixie Woo. Her name is, I think it's the, the channel name. If you guys look it up, it's Pixie Woo. Um, I used to all, always watch her. I loved how she do transformations, how she, um, created, like, use makeup as art and, you know, and all of that stuff i was always into youtube and stuff so but me personally i never took it upon myself to be like oh i want to become a youtuber i want to be doing the same thing because i'm not a follow the leader as bitch you know i'm not a follow the leader as female so it's like i was like like everything that i was seeing being done on youtube and p places people were going and stuff like that I was doing that for real in my daily life. Like I was literally going out all the time. I was literally, you know, um, I just started my sister. She's a makeup artist. Um, you guys check her out. I'm going to leave all her information right here. So you guys go check her out, but she was always doing makeup. So all of that was new to me, but I personally, I personally, I had this thing when I was younger. Um, when I got in my teens, after I had my first child, I was like, I ain't ever wearing makeup. You know, I was very, I was going through situations. I was in a state to where I was like, um, not insecure, but you know how when you dealing with older men, he wasn't that older than me. He was like, what, five, seven years older than me. It was just like, I was just getting too gassed on how pretty naturally I already look. So it was just like, makeup not for me type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, um, I'm sorry, I'm just getting everything out. I was just basically like, I didn't need makeup, this, that, and the third. But later on down the line, I had um, met somebody new, but I was still doing me though. I was still doing me. And I had started to get into makeup. I started to get into makeup, started doing makeup. And he was like, you should do YouTube. Cause we both was into that. We both watched YouTube. This was had like literally like um the same thing. Same. Ugh, I should have got all this stuff out before I started this video. But like, anyways, 
we were like basically into the same things like um he was watching youtube he was into pranks and watching you know into the music thing because he does music so he was watching videos he was watching interviews like it was just like that we were just basically into the same thing so i started doing youtube um in 2020 because we both was talking about it or whatever like that so i was just like i'm gonna become a youtuber because he see how I acted around the house and he, when he got to know me for real, he was like, why you won't just do YouTube? And I was like, why didn't think about that? You know? So that that's what happened with that. That's how I started doing YouTube in August. And I was just like y'all. I was just like um, looking up on YouTube and watching videos on how to become a YouTuber. So, there's no answer to that. The answer to that is just do it. Get a camera, no matter if it's your phone, no matter if it's a bootleg camera, expensive camera, cheap camera, it does not matter. Pick up a camera and record, press record. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a science to becoming a YouTuber. Like, you know, everyone has different niches and into what they're into, it's just, you come on camera and be your authentic self show your creative your show your creativity your creative side and you know if you want to bring people along in your life your life journey and stuff like that people watch listen people love watching other people's life what you think social media is for like people love watching other people's life what they got going on their creativity whether it's beauty makeup fashion lifestyle um music no matter what it is people just love to watch people like to do see well people like to see and imagine things that they that they don't have some people don't have you know what i'm saying because some people do like do that and it's like um there's no science to it like there's no science to becoming a youtuber um i just feel like the main thing like the main thing to focus on when it comes to youtube is being consistent like having content and stuff like that like if you like say you a comedian or something like you're funny in real life and you become a youtuber like instead of stressing yourself out and this is just personally for me you know i can't speak for everybody but personally for me like if you're funny in real life like a comedian and shit like that and stuff like that oh, i gotta change my vocabulary y'all i'm working on my vocabulary but it's like just um do you be your authentic self and if you want to take it far full-time job where you don't have to work in real life and stuff like that take what you do seriously like literally plan out content write it out um if you can't come up with stuff every day picking up the camera turning the camera on um if you just can't come up with stuff like that um off the off the dome um become creative if you, if you want this to be like something full time for you you want to get monetized you want to get paid for it um and also by getting paid for you doing like what you love you feel what i'm saying like plan out um your goals plan out like um different type of content you want to create like come up with something like creative a creative plan a creative um board or something like that and have just a list of things that you want to do like that but as far as me um and i had a lot of my family members ask me the same thing too Oh, I ain't gonna leave that out because not only that, my family members too, mind you. So 2020 is 2023. I've been doing YouTube for like three years and everybody gonna support you before your family does. You know what I'm saying? So when I first started doing YouTube, my family like was the first people to know about it. I was like up they ass. I was up there behind trying to um, promote my channel, make them watch each and every video. Um, I didn't know what niche I wanted to do. I didn't know where I wanted to take, where I wanted to go with YouTube and nothing like that. I was just making videos. I was doing makeup videos. Didn't know how to really do makeup. On here looking crazy, y'all. Um, I was doing 
um what i was doing story times mukbangs i still have a few of those mukbangs and stuff on here and as you if you guys go back and see how my videos was like a year or two ago you can tell like the type of stuff that i was creating and posting and stuff like that if you go watch my previous videos you get what i'm saying um yeah i was doing hair installs um i was like getting sponsored too at the time and stuff so i was doing like little sponsored videos and stuff for companies and stuff like that but you know life happens i'm a mother i was going through stuff so i was always like not doing youtube for a good amount of time like i'd be consistent i post like two twice a week or something like that or every two weeks or something like that and it came along it came to a point where i was not posting at all for a long long time because i was going through real life stuff and um I was just like, you know, I'm monetized. I finally got monetized and I ain't seen no money. And I'm like, I didn't really quite understand. Like, I didn't really quite understand, like, YouTube. So I was just like all over the place, all over the place. And I, st I wasn't consistent. And I wasn't consistent, you guys. Like, I wasn't consistent at all with YouTube. I didn't see no money right away. And I was just got so discouraged. And then I was going through real life stuff. And I was just like, you know what? YouTube is not that important. I went to work in two, three jobs. Like, I have two jobs. And I be door dashing. Like, really just focusing on money. Focusing on my stability, stability. And trying to get myself together and stuff like that. Um, so, I was not consistent with YouTube. And then, but I was still watching YouTube. I was still on YouTube, watching YouTube. I was just discouraged in myself. Like this is not for me and i don't even know what to do i don't know what type of content to create like i don't um like i don't know what to do and what to do like i don't know like have any creative ideas and you get creative blogs and all of this type stuff so i was just like all over the place and just going through stuff in real life so i just really wasn't giving it giving you to too much of my time anymore for a long time but when it comes down to youtube it's about your mindset if you start if you want to become a youtuber just to make money and just to like use youtube as a platform to get money not saying don't do that but if your intentions is to oh i'm just going to do youtube to make money and you start putting out content, you're not getting any views, you're not getting any like, no one's, you know, you're no one subscribing to your channel and all of this type stuff, you get discouraged. It's because of your intentions. And that's how I was before. Like, I was all about um, the money. I wasn't really trying to do it for my creative side. I really wasn't trying to, you know what I'm saying? It was just all about the money for me. And I'm like, I'm not seeing no bread. And I was just putting out anything, doing anything, like, for real, like my content was all over the place. Like you couldn't label me. I wasn't in. I wasn't in a specific spot. Like, um, I was doing hair. I was doing makeup. I was doing um, like all types of stuff, y'all. Like my page was literally all over the place. Like I was doing pranks. Like I was doing it all. But I start doing YouTube um uh, without a plan. Like without knowing my niche like what i really like what i really want to do like is this really what you want to do you know i didn't start out youtube i just you know just started out well i know how to do hair so i'm gonna do hair i know how to do makeup so i'm gonna do makeup um uh, i'm gonna make this video try to make it funny but that shit was not really even funny or i'm going to i was doing a lot of giveaways y'all i had so many giveaways and that was bringing a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic to my channel. So I'm like, okay, so the only way I'm going to, the only way I'm going to get some type of action on my page is 
when you got something to give. And it always happened like that when you have something to give because everybody loves free stuff. Like, everybody loves, like, a giver. Like, I was doing so many giveaways and I just felt like, I'm giving y'all money and ain't get, I mean, I'm getting the, like, views and shit, but I'm not getting nothing in return, like, y'all just want me for my money, y'all just want to watch me for what I can give, like, I was just giving, 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 and wasn't receiving anything in return, I was like, yeah, I need to figure this out, like, I need a plan, I need to figure out what I really want to do, and how I really want to you know, expand with YouTube. Y'all, throughout them years, like, I literally was just, like, all over the place. I, I tell you, no lie. I was literally all over the place when it came to YouTube. And it was so, like, discouraging. It was so frustrating. Like, it really was. But now... Since I got the experience, especially if you're not experienced and you don't know what you want to do, you don't know how to edit, you don't know how to create thumbnails, you don't know how to, like, do stuff like that. It's, like, I feel like before you began to um, do anything else, do your research and try to create a thumbnail or edit a video that you just like try to work out and figure out um how to do these things before you start youtube so it won't be as frustrating or discouraging and especially when you don't have no help try to like do these things before um you think about um doing youtube because yes some people learn as they go but then again, you have people where you literally have to do it. Like, you literally have to show them verbatimly how something goes in order for them to, um, in order for them to get to where they're going. And to each his own, you guys. To me, with me, it was a learn-as-you-go experience for me because I'm very ambitious. I don't care if I'm, I'm a mess up. I don't care if I fail on camera. I don't care like about none of that stuff. And once I start getting myself together and figuring out um, YouTube and how it works, the algorithm, the type of content, the type of content I want to create, I was just like, you know what? Let me just do what I like to do when I like to do it. And just like how I was all over the place before, didn't have a certain type of niche. I was just like the stuff that I'm good at and the stuff that I just feel like I don't have to like put on an act, put on a show or try to entertain y'all and just be my authentic self. I was just like, listen, I'm going to just be myself. I know how to do makeup now. I'm going to do makeup. Um, lifestyle. I like watching lifestyle videos. I love watching vlogs. Um, I love Talitha. Y'all yeah, love watching Talitha. When her, when her um, YouTube channel had got deleted... I was like, why? Uh, but I subscribed to her new channel though. I love watching Talitha, um, Kyra, Amini, um, who else I be watching? I be watching them too. And I also just be watching random new vlogs, random new um, lifestyle beauty or makeup videos for up and coming YouTubers because um, I know what that feels like. And these ladies be having some great content. Like, they be having good content. And their quality be great. And it's just like, they don't be having no views, no nothing. Like, they don't have a big following. They don't have nothing. And I just love showing love and supporting people like that. Because I know what it's like. And I'm still doing it right now. Like, I know what it's like. And you just got to keep going. Like, you can't get discouraged. You just got to, like... You got to, like, keep it moving. You got to keep it going. Like, you can't just give up because things aren't working out in your favor or anything of that nature. You just got to you gotta keep that shit going, y'all. Um, but, yeah, in, like, in all actuality, all you have to do to become a YouTuber, pick up a camera. Whether it's your phone, 
whatever type and just press record you know how to do makeup do makeup videos you a prankster you like doing pranks pick up the camera and prank your life away you do nails you do hair you do um you like vlogging your life and bringing people along with you on your journeys and stuff pick up the camera a lot people like authentic seeing real life stuff like yes inter like being entertaining and like doing stuff like trends and stuff that everybody is doing yeah that's okay and funny to a certain niche and to a certain extent but like people really relate and gravitate towards you and be support you for being your authentic your authentic self when you're being your authentic self from the get-go no games no gimmicks no flake no fuss no none of that and um you be consistent and you just keep going with your craft and stuff like that people will most definitely like clean a lot of people say, oh, you got to be entertaining. You got to be funny enough. You got to be this. You got to be that. I feel like you be your authentic self. You will never have to apologize later on down the line. You will never have to, you know, it's like take me as I am or have nothing at all type of thing. You know, that's how I look at it. So when I first started out, I was on some, like, I was Googling stuff like what are, what are some things, what are some content that everyone's watching right now like what is content that gravitates more towards um a supportive audience type stuff like i was really on google looking up stuff like that because i didn't know too much myself about literally becoming a youtuber and doing stuff so i was literally like researching stuff on google watching videos on youtube and i forgot who video that i watched and it was just like just do it and that's the answer. Like, that's the whole honest truth. Just do it. Like, just do it. For real. Like, just do it. And whatever you're doing, no matter what it is, be good at it. Be consistent with it. Engage with your supporters. Like, you get the comments and you start getting a following on your social media platforms and stuff. Engage. Engage. There's nothing wrong with engaging with engaging with people that's literally taking the time out of their day to support your stuff, watch your stuff, like engage. And that's that's how that's how to be that's how to become a YouTuber. Be consistent with what you're doing. Confidence is key. Being your authentic self and consistency is key. Like no one wants to watch somebody that's being a follower. No one wants to watch somebody that just starts controversy and gets you the attention that you really don't want for real in real life. So all of that being a copycat and doing what other people you see other people doing and trying to fit in like people literally see that. Like people will really see that like you're trying to fit in and stuff like that. So I was like, I had like 70 78 87 videos y'all i got rid of all of them videos because i was like but at a time i mean it was like you should leave all of that because when you make it or get a bigger following people want to see your come up like people want to see what you was doing before and i was like that makes sense now after i done deleted everything like you say this after i delete everything which it does make sense but at the same time i don't want you know what I'm saying? I was all over the place. My quality was trash. I was literally making videos, y'all. I was literally recording my YouTube videos on Snapchat. And Snapchat, the longest you can go is, what, a minute. Uploading 15 to 25-minute videos with 15 to 25 clips of content and then have to edit it, and it was trash, y'all. Like, my quality was trash when I started doing this. Like, I look back on that stuff, like when I got my stuff together, when I got my together, I look back on that stuff, I was like, what the f are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, you, it's like, it's like, says, what are you, girl, what, what are you doing? Like, for real, all honestly, like this look a mess, no one is going to watch this. Like, what? So I was like, you know what? I ain't putting on the show for nobody. 
I'm not a clown. I'm not funny. I'm not a comedian. So let me just be my authentic self. I know how to do makeup now. I've been trying to do makeup for a long time. Now I know what I'm doing. So let me just dish out my creative side and also bring and show people who I really am, how I really am, what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? Like my background and stuff like that. Like I want to be relatable. I want, you know what I'm saying? People to relate and to gravitate towards me for being me, not for what they think I should be or want me to be or thought I was like no this is me take me as I am or have nothing at all okay but yeah that's what well, that's that's where that was at for me I'm like y'all just talking about it pissing me off <laughs> like baby what were you doing what were you thinking no ma'am that job was trash y'all but now I'm getting a little better. I'm still, I had a camera, but under life circumstances, I had got rid of my laptop and my camera, y'all. But we ain't gonna talk about that. And um, now I'm just vlogging off my iPhone 13 in 4K. I vlog in 4K and I use this app. If you guys want me to go into detail, about what I do, how I use, and all of that stuff. Let me know down below in the comments. And I'll make a video about that. But this is strictly for how to become a YouTuber. Like, just do it, y'all. That's the main, to me, that's the main thing. Just do it. Because if you don't, somebody else will. And while you sitting around procrastinating, you ain't doing nothing but holding yourself back. You're holding yourself back. Your greatest potential. And you just sitting around watching everybody else um, do what they love doing. Because you procrastinating and all of that. Y'all, to be honest, it ain't nothing to it but to do it like just do it like nike y'all pick up a camera find something that you really like that you really want to do like really do that like really get into that of like okay it's what i want to do even if you're not talented like even if you don't have no talent like at least people love like i said people love vlogs people love you know, to watch other people's lives. So it's like, baby, just do do just that. You know, like do just that. And yeah, that's what it. That's exactly what it gives. And when you start and now doing um YouTube and stuff, like, and you don't have no support, you don't have no help, you don't have like like no platform that's already popping like no other social media platform that's already popping that you could just bring your um your audience from wherever and then bring them to youtube it's gonna be extremely you guys extremely hard because it's it's like that i'm still going through that like my most followers are on Instagram and before like when I first started out I was putting all my YouTube stuff up there but mind you my content everything was crap like it was so trash and they looked at like who who this girl think for to watch that shit like it was given that so um I just upgraded myself I learned as I go I never stopped doing like I never stopped promoting myself I never stopped promoting myself, but what I did was I was not consistent with YouTube. So I'm promoting my YouTube channel, but I got a video up there a month ago or two, three weeks ago or two months ago and shit. Like, you know what I like, girl, what do you think? You're not getting no subscribers, no promoters, no support, no promoters, no support from like having no consistency. like quality is trash like no one wants to see what you're doing because you don't know what you're doing so yeah but that's how i 
So to me, everyone has their own definition. Everyone has their own thing on how to become a YouTuber. But in all reality, y'all, I'm a small YouTuber. And I feel like ain't nothing to worry about to do it. But be consistent when you do. You have to be consistent, y'all. Like, you have to be. If you don't be consistent with YouTube, you're going to lose out on subscribers. You're going to lose out on engagement. You're going to lose out you got to keep up with the algorithm you have to keep yourself relevant you see what these artists be doing like especially on social media like you have to keep yourself relevant you got to keep your you know what I'm saying? you got to keep yourself going you can't be like i'm gonna do a youtube i'm gonna do a video today drop a video today and don't post until the next three weeks type like what they're not gonna youtube is not gonna push your content like they're not going to push your content, especially when you ain't getting no views and you're not, you know what I'm saying, being consistent. No. Why would I help you if you're not helping yourself? Like, no. No. So, I really, like, love how I got this foundation down and I don't want to put no pattern on it. I really don't. But I got to... I have to. But yeah, y'all. That's how I. That's what I feel like, too. That's how you become a YouTuber. Like, be consistent. Just do it. And later on down the line, if you want to, um, like, if you want, just be consistent. And if you was doing something at first, and if you was doing something at first and you feel like, you know, it's not that's not working out, you want to change it up and stuff like that, do just that. Like, like literally, like, don't let no one tell you what's good for you. Do just that, y'all. Do what you want. Make it fun. Do what you want. Make it fun. Make it worthwhile. And as long as it's making you... As long as it makes you happy, that's all that matters. Like, that's literally all that matters. As long as it's making you happy. Like, it's about you. Um... And if it's making you happy, don't let no one discourage you from doing it. what makes you happy. Like you have to just, you gotta just, you know, do what you gotta do. How is it looking so far, you guys? Let me know. And I ain't doing nothing extravagant. Like, I ain't doing nothing extravagant to the eyes, no none of that. Or nothing. And I just creased. I hate it. I creased so fast under my eyes, y'all. I hate, hate that. So I have to like hurry up and when I blend, I have to like hurry up and set under my eye because y'all, I be creasing so much. If you guys have any like tricks or or anything about how to deal with like the crease under the eyes let me know down below in the comments y'all so right now I'm just setting my makeup and another thing you guys be 
you know, don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone either. Like, don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone to do something that you really want to do. Because that's all... Because that's all it's about, like, for real, like, like, if you really want to achieve something and do something, don't let nobody, like, discourage you on doing something that you want to do. Because what that does to you when you let someone discourage you and now you're not putting any type of effort into something you really want, what example are you setting and showing the other people? Like, everyone around you, like, no. Do what you wanna do, when you wanna do it, and however you wanna do it. As long as it makes you happy and it makes sense to you and it's getting you where you're going, baby, F these people and everyone around you that's trying to discourage you to not do this. Now, it's good to take um, good criticism and stuff like that and, you know, if people really trying to genuinely help you and shit like that, but all of that player hating, baby, no. No. Do you, babes. Do you. Now that I'm looking like Casper, the friendly ghost, because that's exactly what it's giving. It's giving very much Casper. Let me take the rest and just set my, set my lid. Cause it ain't not the foundation on it. But yeah, yeah. That's all you gotta do. And I'll be putting my contour up so high because I like a, the lifted look. I like how my face look lifted. there's anything like if you have like anybody that you look up to any youtubers that you already look up to and that's giving you inspiration and stuff like that i feel like um there's nothing wrong with that i feel like there's nothing wrong with that at all just don't be like copying people just make it into your own if you if that makes sense to y'all if y'all get what i'm saying like just like make it your own put it in your own way because like i said once again i'm not a follower and i'm not into that so i just like watching you know i love watching because i be feeling like the people the girls that i watch i don't feel like they try to be anybody else but themselves like everyone evolves and stuff like that so i feel like you know, everyone has a time, like, when they start out, let everything be going and stuff like that. But, you know, people change with time. And everyone doesn't stay the same. So, I know that it makes sense to, you know, do things differently, but also continue you know to like be your be your authentic self like it makes sense to do that and like i love like lifestyle vlog beauty videos influencer videos and stuff like that like watching those you know what i'm saying 
but I also make it my own, you know, not taking nobody, taking nobody thing, you know, and I feel like that's what it's all about, like, be yourself, don't be nobody else, be yourself, you know, and good things come to those that wait, um, you gotta, the same energy that you putting into all of that fear of, you know, what if this, they don't like this, and what if this doesn't work out? All that fear that you're putting in, doubt that you're putting into yourself, that could be in, put that same energy into that content. Yes, I'm using the blush brush and the rest of the residue blush that's on here, I'm putting it on, yes, I am. Because I'm a blush girl. As y'all already know and as you can see, make sure to tune into my previous videos, especially my makeup videos, you guys, and watch me evolve over time. I'm doing a great job. Y'all, my makeup used to be so trash. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. My makeup used to be trash. Like y'all to be clowning me. So bad. But now. I'm doing a little something, something. I'm working with a little something, something now. You know what I mean? I never gave up. You just got to keep going. You know, it's times where, you know, it's going to be times where, you know, things don't work out and real life situation is going on and you have to take a break or take a step back from social media, from, from YouTube and stuff like that. That makes sense because we are human. We're not robots. We're not, you know, we're human. So... Uh, that'll make sense to really take some time out for yourself, your mental health and stuff like that. Like, that's easy. That's nothing. That is nothing. That's something you're supposed to do regardless, whether it's for YouTube or in real life. It's okay to take a break. It's very much okay to take a break. But the main thing that I want you guys to get from this video, the main thing I want y'all to get from this video and to understand is that consistency goes a long way. Consistency is key to your success. Don't hold yourself back because of fear and what other people are going to think. Do you? Like, for real. Y'all got to, you got to do you. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Do you, sister, or and brother, be your authentic self? Everything's gonna work out. Just one. And when you get to where you're going, anyways, like when you get to where you're going, it's like. No one knew what it took for you to get there. No, no, nobody don't know your challenges and stuff like that. But if you keep going, uh, people will be able to understand and relate and see the progress. People will admire that. People will gravitate towards that. So, yeah. I'm about to finish off my face. I really ain't got nothing to do but the eyes. And I don't be putting my... Y'all don't be putting my lashes on, on camera because of the embarrassment. Like, can't do it, won't do it. At all. I'm going for a simplistic look today. I just wanted to do a little something because I'm a, Like I said before, I'm just making content, so... I just... want to at least look you know put together whatever mm. oh yeah so now I think I'm gonna just do the chocolate 
my fancy beauty chocolate 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 con arroz y coco this is my little new thing y'all i gotta show y'all my little new thing that i do i take hot chocolate by um rihanna you know what i'm saying for my little simplistic little little looks So good, y'all. You know I mean? Take re reap <laughs> and put it on repeat. <laughs> and then go in with my clear lip gloss. And then I'm about to style my hair. I'll put it in the middle. You see, that's a lot. Don't OD like this though, with the lip gloss. I put it in the middle. And do that. And get away with it. Just like that. For a juicy, voluminous, plump lip. Like, stop playing with me. Go back in with my gold, go back in with my, um. oh, that's a lot. There we go. Cause as I was talking, y'all see it kept because it was just a lot. But um go back in with that gold deposit. Cause I'm gonna be taking pictures. And just to make the lip lip, you know, just to make it lip, I'm gonna go in with my finger and and line my lip on the outside. I'm telling y'all, it'll make a, a big difference, especially, especially in the pictures, you see? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Makes a big difference, y'all. So, y'all, I'm going to put my lashes on off camera. Y'all, I OD with the highlight. I'm sorry. I love highlight. I love highlighter. So, I'm going to put my lashes on off camera, zoom my hair real quick, and I'm going to come back and close out this video. Get y'all some gold deposits, y'all. It's fire. Fire. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. I am back. I did my hair. And I'm just going to close out this video. If you guys have any questions, don't um, don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comment section below or inbox me engage. Um, I do engage with y'all. If you guys have any questions about anything that we talked about today, y'all, just hit me up. on All my social media platforms are in the description box below. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. And no, I didn't put on any lashes because I was struggling. I don't, I'm not too handy with the tweezers, so I'm just going to make it work like this, y'all. Cute. Curls are giving, y'all. Cute. Cute. But yeah, you guys, I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video. If there's anything else you guys want me to talk about, or anything like that just let me know down below in the comments section and i will provide you guys with a video love you guys see you guys tomorrow